in this getting started with cypress tutorial we are going to see what is cypress what are the advantages of using cypress and what are the limitations of cypress tool let's get started with the understanding what is cypress tool cypress is an open source tool and also it's a paid automation testing tool so there are some features which are disabled in the open source and complete product is available in the paid tool cypress is built by using the javascript programming language to test the modern web applications so here modern web application is nothing but react js applications angular js applications and javascript based applications and by using the cypress you can test the apis as well cypress is widely used by the developers and as well as the testers and by using the cypress you can perform the end to end testing component testing and unit testing so cypress is completely different than selenium web driver so here cypress is a tool selenium web driver is a api by using cypress you can create test faster easier and more reliable test can be created by using the cypress now let's see what are the advantages of using the cypress the first advantage is easy to use you can quickly write your test run your test and also you can debug your test by using the cypress tool and next advantage of cypress tool is speed and faster so whenever you execute any test in the cypress tool so it will quickly perform the test execution and when you perform the same test execution by using the selenium web driver it will take the lot of time and coming to the third advantage of using the cypress is cross browser testing in the sense both developer or testers can perform the testing across the different browsers so it can be chrome browser Ed edge browser or firefox browser or even it can be the electron browser and next advantage is it is a open source so you will get the community support whenever you get stuck in the in the real time project basically when uh, re, uh, when you are, when you started working on the real time project if you got stuck you will get the community support for this particular cypress tool and next advantage of cypress is time travel so while running the test you will be finding the each and every step time took for the test execution in the sense for example we have a one test that has a five steps so basically it will list down all the time by step wise for example step 1 how long it took for execution step 2 how long it took for execution so like that it will maintain all the time time travel between the each step in a single test so by using that you can get to know how long my particular step is taking for test execution or a step execution right and also you can find the screenshot by the at a step level sorry and coming to the next advantage of cypress is debuggability so you will be finding the more readable errors and also it will add the stack trace information quickly so after the execution of few within few milliseconds you will find all the stack trace information and also user readable errors error information and coming to the next advantage of using the cypress is automatic waiting so no need to write any implicit wait explicit wait what you write it write it in the selenium right so no need to provide any type of waits here so cypress automatically takes care of waiting mechanism already so that mechanism 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 is already available in the cypress tool and the last advantage of using the cypress is it captures the screenshot at each step level and also it will record the test execution video also that's a another advantage of using the cypress tool now let's look at the what are the dis disadvantages of using the cypress or limitations of cypress tool the very first limitation is cypress cannot use more than one browser at the same time say for example i want to run my test first time in the chrome browser second time in the electron browser 
So I cannot perform that particular functionality in the by using the Cypress. So this is the first disadvantage of using the Cypress. Second disadvantage is it does not provide the support for multi tabs. For example, in my application, I want to open three, four tabs. So that support is not provided by using the Cypress. The third disadvantage is Cypress only supports for the JavaScript programming language. It will never support for the Python, Java, or the C sharp dot net, etc. etc. So that's the third disadvantage of using the Cypress. Coming to the next disadvantage, Cypress does not support for the mobile app testing and as well as the desktop application testing. So that's the fourth disadvantage. Moving on to the next one, Cypress supported for the limited number of browsers. For example, I want to execute my test on the Opera or Safari browser. So Cy Cypress will not support for the Opera or Safari browser. So that's a, another disadvantage of using the Cypress. And the last limitation of Cypress is, for example, if I want to use XPath, I need to add the external plugin, sorry, external plugin to use the XPath in the Cypress tool. 